Hello, we are at three weeks since we put the Strong X and Deep Blue in petrol. And we're at about seven weeks or something. Lost track since this one. And it's just out of curiosity now, I'm just leaving it in because it's not impact resistant. You're really not spoiling. That's pet G. Anyway, the main event. <coughs> Now I brought pliers this time because I'm going to give them a hard squeeze on the thickness bit there after I've prodded and poked. Let's get focus and there we go. Now, They feel sort of similar, similar, similar amount of flex. That one actually feels a little more brittle, the blue. Let's pull this off. Gonna... Pull that off. Hmm. Stronger resistance, but more of a snap on the blue. Whereas that kind of didn't resist, it bent. Anyway, this week, after three weeks of being submerged in petrol, I'm going to squeeze this way and see what it holds up to. Yeah, it's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's try this one. And it vanished. I'll be back, see if I can find it. I'm back. Now it it didn't actually crush, it must have just forced its way out at pliers. I'll do it this way, and then if it comes out again, it hits the floor. That's two hands now, twice as much force. Oh, it's strong stuff. I mean, don't get me wrong, the petrol has affected it. But that's a thousand times the dose of using it as a manifold. I'm going to squeeze this one again. Get two hands on this one. Oh, it's going. Oh, I can't get it. But yeah, we're getting a bit of movement. I mean, I think that'll hold up. I think that's worth it. A manifold printing in there. I can hear it giving. I don't know if the mic can pick that up. But it's probably. Yeah, see, it's crushing. Turn into dust. Oop, there we go. Dust on my fingers from it. Let's face it, that's a lot more force than holding your calves going to put on it. 
Okay, so I know we're getting a bit destructive here with the testing, but we'll put it back in. I'm going to order some of that because we we've we pretty much got a design that works dimensions wise. It's just a case of making sure it works materials wise. I've just had some feedback from um, Andrew on the 700 to 1100 version. He tried the clear tough and it didn't like the heat. Um, I think it had a, a, I forget what, 60 or 70 degree, I'll check before I post the video up, 60 or 70 degree glass transition temperature. And in my mind I'd always said we want 80 degrees as a minimum. Um, I've got a feeling this blue isn't good with heat. Um, I'll look into that because it said it had a glass transition of 30 odd degrees which didn't make sense because 30 odd degrees is nothing that melt in your hand virtually. Um, so I'll chase up that and uh, I'll get some of this one ordered. And we'll have a little uh, little dabble with that. <laughs> 